Uh, hi everyone, greetings from National Skills Network. Uh, this is Madhuri and I'm back with a very interesting panel discussion today. Uh, if you remember, we had done a feature on ITIs in Madhya Pradesh and we have want to continue the same uh, you know, theme of ITIs, but this time in a very different focus. So this time we have invited private ITIs and we would like to have a conversation with them about their achievements, the kind of courses they offer, the changes that they are seeing, and also the trends that they have observed over the years. So let's get going by uh, talking to uh, the panelists today. So I have with me Mr. Amar Prabhu, who is the principal of Don Bosco ITI Kurla, Mumbai. And we have uh, with us Mr. Ashutosh Tiwari, who is the head institute and industry skills training from Yadupati Singhania Vocational Education Foundation, which is, uh, in, which is an in initiative from JK Cement uh, Limited. And we have with us Mr. Uh, Tommy Joseph, who is the principal of uh, Prabhat ITI, uh, which is run by LabourNet, and this ITI is based out of Assam. So uh, let me get started by asking uh, one common question to all of them. Uh, so please tell us about uh, your ITI very briefly and uh, what are the courses you offer, what are the popular traits and the location of the ITI also. So let's get started with uh, Mr. Amar Prabhu. Uh, good evening all. Thank you, Madhuri ma'am, for this opportunity uh, to again to connect with you and with your network. Let me first compliment you and your entire team for <laughs> initiating this panel discussion and all that you are doing in the era of the skilling ecosystem. Uh, we are very privileged and glad to know the activities and the program done by NSN. Uh, to talk about my institute, uh, as you know, Dom Bosco has a legacy of giving, providing the vocational training for 150 years. So we are the under, under the umbrella of Dom Bosco Tech India. Uh, currently, Dom Bosco Tech India has 29 ITIs across the country. We have six engineering college, polytechnics, and one university also. So we are under the umbrella of Dom Bosco. Uh, we are in the province of Mumbai, Maharashtra, Gujarat, Madhya Pradesh, and Rajasthan is a province of Mumbai. So, and we are located in Kurla, Mumbai, the economic capital of India. And um, Kurla, uh, where we are located, at one time, this was bust with a lot of industries around the place. So the Don Bosco ITAs are present where the industry is present. So now they have moved to some other industrial park and some other business activity. But the ITA continues. We are now 60 years old ITI. And this year, we are celebrating our Diamond Jubilee. Uh, wow. So 1965 to 2025 is a year. So we started in 1965. Currently, we are running around 11 ITF program, like fitters, machinist, electrician, electronic, mechanic, me uh, mechanic two and three wheeler, uh, mechanic motor vehicle. And the latest, what we added in our program was technician mechatronic, just an year or two before we started this particular program. And plus we have closed down some of the non-popular trades also in our institution. Our training capacity is somewhere close to around 400 youth in a formal training program. Other than that, we have our own short-term training program and we also run the customized training program for the industry. Uh, we have in collaboration with more than 21 industries across Mumbai and other parts of the state also like Godrej, Tata, uh, we have QME, then uh, Siemens. Go there are many more of such industries whom we have collaborated and we are running the many program. Uh, the unique part of, uh, I could say, of my ITI here at Don Bosco Kurla is an industry collaboration. We were the first one to start the DST program in whole of Maharashtra. Out of 11 trades, now nine trades are already under DST mode. That means we have the collaboration with the industry and that they are doing very good. We have been awarded as best ITI in the Maharashtra, third best, as well as the first in the region of Mumbai. Plus accolades like we have been recognized by Toyota and other industries also as a best training institution. Um, and uh, also we a um, couple of our students have also won the national uh, award and also in the world scale up to national level, my trainees have moved in the trade of refrigeration and air conditioning. Uh, that's about this ITI. I've been associated with the institution for the last 30 years. I'm a past people of this institute and happy to be part okay. of this institution and of this program also. That's this is about really Dom Bosco ITI Kurla. 
Yeah, that's really nice to hear, sir. Uh, 30 years is a long time and I'm sure you have seen many trends and uh, and guided and helped many students, mentored them. And congratulations on the Diamond Jubilee. So mm -hmm. we will come back to you with a few more specific questions about ITI industry sure. partnership and so on. Now let's move on to Mr. Ashutosh Tiwari. Uh, sir, uh, in your capacity and your position, uh, how do you see the ITIs that come under you you know, how are they functioning or what are the courses that you are offering and is there anything specific you would like to tell us? Firstly, good evening to all of you. And uh, we all should be thankful to you because you have initiated a platform where we can discuss about the ITIs. I don't think there is such kind of platform where uh, the ITI running persons or the ITI owners can discuss about the achievement, about the training program, or anything about the ITIs in skilling part. So coming to our section, we are from uh, Yadupati Singhania Vocational Education Foundation. Uh, this is an initiative of JK Cement Limited, and uh, it is being named on the uh, our late Honorable MD and CEO JK Cement Limited, Sir Yadupati Singhania ji. So it was. It is. It is his vision. We are doing the skilling, and we are into this vocational education skill uh, system since 1992. We just a uh, few years back we celebrated the 25 year silver jubilee of one of our ITIs in Rajasthan, which mm -hmm. started as the first ITI, and currently we are having five ITIs: two in Kanpur, two in Rajasthan, and uh, one is in MP. Okay. And apart from ITIs, these five ITIs, we are also having the short-term skilling center in UP, which is a center of excellence declared by UP state government. And uh, it is also being awarded by the UP government for being the best training partner for training as well as placement. Coming to the courses which we are doing currently, so approximately 12 to 13 varieties of engineering courses mostly the engineering courses we are uh, running across our ITIs like electrician fitter then the building construction painting and decorating solar technicians we just added two years back with you know for ITIs then electronics mechanic then welder then mechanic motor vehicle so all these courses we are running across our ITIs and uh, coming to the achievements part in the last world skill competition that that is just concluded in this year to 24 uh, 12 candidates across our itis from all of our itis they participated in the uh, india level of national skill competition and two of them they reached to the world skill competition at france lyon in mm -hmm. building construction as well as the uh, painting uh, mm -hmm. trades so this this was a major achievements we we were having uh, this year and the female female also so our management is very much keen on participation of female candidates in our itis basically in the engineering trades across our itis so in our itis uh, from the last 2 to 3 years female candidates are also participating in trades like electronics mechanic then solar technician then electrician as well as fitter also one or two female candidates are getting trained in fitter and last year at one of our itis in rajasthan we placed few female candidates in solar they are into they are working into the operation and maintenance of solar plants the megawatt solar plants and uh, they are being well treated well uh, i mean kept by the companies they are providing the accommodation and other part also so they are very happy. So this was one of the thing that it it boosted us, so that we can have the female candidates in the engineering trades also. Okay. And looking at me, I am into this field of vocational education uh, from the last fifteen years, mm -hmm. and uh, I have been able to establish four to five institutions since beginning. So mm -hmm. I have the experience of starting the. Uh, I mean, establishing the institutions and then connecting, setting all the operations and uh, making it uh, a good one for the local community. 
Yeah, uh, that's really interesting, sir. And also uh, the fact you shared about uh, encouraging girls to join ITIs and the courses. So uh, we would like to definitely learn more about this after we hear from Mr. Joseph about the ITI in Assam, where he's the principal. So, uh, so please tell us uh, about the courses and about the ITI itself. Hello, uh, thank you so very much for this platform and the National Skills Network, making skills aspirational for young boys and girls um, with this platform of interactions. Thank you so very much. And for the invitation that is given to Suprabhat ITI uh, in Dumduma, Assam. Uh, we are located in the midst of tea gardens in the state of Assam. Um, and uh, we have a lot of young boys and girls uh, in this area. And uh, particularly what I have noticed is that uh, it's uh, basically um, an ITI, which is a CSR of Hindustan Unilever, um, controlled and managed by Labernet Livelihood Foundation. Uh, here we have a fitter, electrician, uh, copper and welder. We started in the year 2022. We just inaugurated. Uh, it's a new private ITI um, in Dumduma, uh, which was established. Actually, um, we started the construction um, during COVID time, and after which uh, we inaugurated only in the year 2022. Um, from then onwards, uh, I was very much part of this ITI. Um, I could see the eagerness of young boys and girls coming to this institute, uh, particularly with all the modern facilities that we have, the infrastructure and the, uh, the teachers, the instructors who are well qualified from different states coming over to this part of the country to bring in uh, discipline and also the regularity and punctuality, which is very much part of the industry. Um, uh, we have noticed that uh, through these engineering trades and non-engineering trades, uh, we did have female candidates joining right from the beginning. Uh, I was really uh, fortunate to see also uh, female candidates joining for uh, welding practicals, and they were uh, doing it wonderfully well. Uh, and in fact, we have also made uh, movies. Uh, we started also film competition uh, to create interest in the minds of young boys and girls, uh, wherein uh, we found uh, that the young girls did wonderfully well. Um, now, uh, over the years, what we have noticed is that the female candidate, female enrollment in fitter, electrician, um, as well as for welding, uh, gradually increased. So uh, last year, we had 33 female candidates. Um, and this year, we have the number increased uh, with the new admissions, which uh, started also for uh, all these domains. We have uh, all these uh, domains, the trades as fitter, electrician, and welder. Uh, and we were really happy to see also that uh, just last month, we were graded as the top ITI, top graded ITI across the uh, uh, entire Northeast. Uh, among 104 ITIs, both government as well as private ITIs, we received 8.3 grading. So that is something um, remarkable for us uh, being a new ITI here in Suprabhat ITI. Uh, over the years, we have noticed that even uh, we did have also parent teacher meet, uh, which uh, twice in every semester, we introduced also for the um, candidates. Uh, and we also want, uh, wanted the regularity and punctuality of these candidates to be a little more streamlined in, in our ITI. And um, uh, we were really happy to uh, get also 100% um, result um, with all the students. So this is what we have noticed in the past uh, two and a half years of our stay here in Suprabhat ITI. Once again, we'd like to thank you for um, uh, this That's platform. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. And that's very nice to hear being uh, a young ITI, I would say, uh, with achievement. So in fact, this panel has good representation. On the one hand, we have Mr. Amar Prabhu, who's heading, uh, you know, a 60-year-old ITI. And then we have you, uh, which is relatively a very young. And we also have Mr. Ashutosh 
who has a very different uh, uh, experience with multiple ITIs. So let me now ask you something very important. Uh, this has to do with attracting students, uh, which is so important and attracting industries. So somewhere in between the students and the industries, we have the administration and the teaching faculty, right? So we need to cover this spectrum now in the next few minutes. So I would request each one of you to share a few points or observations about attracting students. What were the challenges you faced and how did you, uh, you know, create it into an opportunity, I would say, and really get the students to enroll for the courses and complete the courses? So we can again ask uh, Mr. Amar Prabhu to share his views. Um, well, I hope there are two parts to this discussion. One is how do we connect with the industry? That is the first part. And the second is how we create an opportunity for the youngsters to join the ITI program. Yeah. Uh, being in Mumbai, and the Mumbai is a service now oriented city, you could say the metropolitan city, tier one city. So what we are, um, we are saying there is a change in the aspiration of the youth. Okay, so here, the, as per our uh, region here in Mumbai and suburb, there lot is a lot of opportunities for the service trips. Okay. Mm. The manufacturing, as you see from the Mumbai, the manufacturing bases are moving out. Okay, either they are going to the outskirts of Mumbai or to the other part of the country. So here we are getting the good aspiration of the youth for the trades like mechanic motor vehicle, for refrigeration, air conditioning, the automobile. Then we have the trade of mechatronic recently, which has started. Again, it is going to work. The, uh, of course, the plumber is good, but the aspiration of the plumber for the tier one city youth is not that good. But we find the plumber is also a good opportunity. Of course, the evergreen trades are your mechanic motor vehicle, electrician, electronics mechanic. Because these are the service-oriented trades and they have a better uh, attraction for the youth to get into this particular trade. So specifically, if you ask me which are the trades which are popular in our institution, so if I to name few of them, one would be in mechanic motor vehicle, refrigeration, air conditioning, electrician. Of course, the fitter is also evergreen because they have the opportunity, of course, on ship, rigs and manufacturing platform and other places, and as, as well as the uh, electronics mechanic. And recently we started the uh, e-vehicle program. Of course, not it is, it is not an NCVT program, but we are seeing a good aspiration there also for the electric vehicle program. It's a short-term training program for three months. Now, let me talk to you about the Industry Connect. They, um, as I mentioned, we have the Industry Connect with more than 21 industries across the field. Mm -hmm. One of the, uh, you could say the base is the IMC. We have a very active IMC with us, that is Institute Management Committee. And so we have a representation from medium, small scale, large scale, and also from the industry association. Like we have CII, we have COSIA, who are the part of our industry uh, Institute Management Committee. And then one of the ethos we follow in our institute, if you have to start any new program in our institute, first we look for the industry partner. Okay, let us start from there. Let us see the industry, what are their demand? Because at times uh, you could see there is little lacuna between the syllabus and the industry so that we get filled up with this industry. As I mentioned, we, we give importance for the like on-job training out of 11 trades, nine trades are already under DST mode and other two trades also we ensure that they go for the on-job training. So for that, the industry is required. Of course, for the training of trainers, okay, we make sure that Every year during the academic calendar, at least for the five days, the trainers have been sent to the industry to honing their skills. So that is one. Second, we have a faculty development program wherein we call the industry expert and ask them to deliver the lecture or the skill set which are relevant for the at times of the for the world of world. So that is also very important for us. So this is how where we connect with the industry. The good PR, of course, our placement officer make, ensures that we uh, we have a good communication with the industry member. Time to time, we invite them either for some program, cultural, even the exhibition of the trainees. When we have a skill exhibition, we invite them to do as a judges, and we also ask them to motivate our trainees time to time. So the key for the vocational education to be successful, one of the criteria is that a good industry connect. So I believe that can be achieved by having a good rapport with the industry, connected, connecting with them time to time, and ensuring that they are also given due importance when they are in our institution. Right. 
Yeah, that's absolutely crucial. And uh, also, we I think uh, we all know how difficult it is actually to make it sustainable because not many ITIs are able to do it. And uh, the objective of this conversation is also to share a few best practices with the audience who could be from ITIs so that they can learn or they can implement or they can even reach out to you probably for some guidance. Uh, you know, so um, let me now ask Mr. Ashutosh about the ITI, sir, there in your, uh, you know, under the um, foundation. Uh, so how do you make this attractive for the students? What is the response? Uh, and uh, what are some of the ways in which, you know, you attract students? And of course, Industry Connect, I'm sure being from JK Cement, uh, is that something that also helps you, uh, you know, to, to maintain the Industry Connect? Like you have told us that we are from JK Cement, so industry connect करना आसान होता है because uh, name speaks itself. पहला yes. चीज़ तो है कि आप किसको represent करते हैं because first impression is the best impression. हम लोग बचपन में पढ़ते हैं और सीखते भी हैं. So उससे काफी मदद मिलती है पहली चीज़. दूसरी चीज़ ये है कि केवल नाम से ही नहीं नाम के according जो हमारे जितने भी ITIs हैं all our ITIs वो अपने अपने स्टेट में नंबर वन पोजीशन पे थे डीजीटी के जो लास्ट ग्रेडिंग आई थी इंस्पेक्शन वाली 2019-20 वाली उसमें और अभी भी जो करंट ग्रेडिंग आ रही है सभी आईटीआईस की जो ग्रेडिंग है वो 8.4 8.5 ऐसे ही है तो एक तो ये है दूसरा इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर जो भी हमने है इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर में सभी नए मशीन्स या लेटेस्ट मशीन्स हैं जिनके रूटीन में उनको हम अपग्रेड करते रहते हैं एज पर इंडस्ट्री के डिमांड के हिसाब से दूसरा ये हमारा मतलब नहीं है कि केवल एनसीबीटी के करिकुलम को ही पूरा करना है एनसीबीटी के करिकुलम ठीक है वो एनसीबीटी की गाइडलाइंस है मैंडेटरी है टू क्वालिफाई द एग्जामिनेशन एंड पास करने के लिए बट हमारा ये ध्यान रहता है कि कैंडिडेट को ट्रेन करने के बाद एम्प्लॉयबल कैसे बनाना है यदि जब तक कैंडिडेट एम्प्लॉयबल नहीं होगा तब तक इंडस्ट्री में उसकी डिमांड नहीं बढ़ेगी Uh, once you place any candidate or few of the candidates in the industry, so automatic industry will keep on demanding from you. कि नहीं आपके यहाँ के जो बच्चे trained हैं, वो discipline हैं, attitude में अच्छे हैं, positive हैं, behaviour उनका अच्छा है, soft skills उनका अच्छा है, along with the core skills. तो इसलिए candidates हम आपसे regularly hire करेंगे. तो एक चीज़ ये है. दूसरी चीज़ ये है कि training की quality. ट्रेनिंग की क्वालिटी को भी हमें हमेशा ही बेहतर रखना पड़ेगा अपग्रेड रखना पड़ेगा और और जो कि हम लोग रखते हैं और उसके बाद है जो ट्रेनर आपके यहाँ ट्रेनर या इंस्ट्रक्टर बेसिकली आईटीआई में हम लोग इंस्ट्रक्टर बोलते हैं और शॉर्ट टर्म स्किलिंग में ट्रेनर बोलते हैं तो आई में जो इंस्ट्रक्टर है कि जो एलिजिबल इंस्ट्रक्टर है एक तो है कि आई के लिए जो एलिजिबल है लाइक दे नीड टू हैव सम क्वालिफिकेशन चाहे वो आई हो डिप्लोमा हो या डिग्री हो प्लस CITS हो ये सारी जो मान्यता है NCBT की वो तो है ही है अपार्ट फ्रॉम उनके जो स्किल सेट है वो स्किल सेट है कि नहीं बच्चों को ट्रेन करने के लिए क्लास को हैंडल कर सकते नहीं टाइम टू टाइम उन लोगों की जो फैकल्टी डेवलपमेंट प्रोग्राम है वो हो रहे हैं कि नहीं हो रहे हैं तो ये सारी चीजें मिला करके प्लस जो प्रैक्टिकल ट्रेनिंग आवर्स है जैसे इन आर आई टी आई वी डू कीप दी प्रैक्टिकल ट्रेनिंग आवर्स फॉर फोर आवर्स डेली मिनिमम फोर आवर्स इज द प्रैक्टिकल ट्रेनिंग आवर्स एंड टू आवर्स इज फॉर द थ्योरी पार्ट थ्योरी में आपका थ्योरी प्लस डब्ल्यू सी एस ये सारी चीज आ जाती है एम्प्लॉयबिलिटी स्किल बट चार घंटे जो है वो रोज प्रैक्टिकल स्किल्स बिकॉज आई टी आई पास कैंडिडेट्स को इंडस्ट्री में जाके काम करना है तो उनका हैंड्स ऑन ट्रेनिंग और हैंड्स ऑन प्रैक्टिकल एक्सपोजर बहुत ज्यादा जरूरी है तो उसके लिए प्रैक्टिकल ड्यूरेशन बहुत जरूरी है तो ये सारी चीज है जो कैंडिडेट को क्वालिटेटिवली एम्प्लॉयबल बनाने में हेल्प करती है दूसरा जो मैं आपने पहले बताया मैंने भी इम्फेसाइज किया कि नाम तीसरा जिस तरीके के इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर और जो बेस्ट प्रैक्टिसेस हम करते हैं लाइक मंथली टेस्ट किया हमने मंथली टेस्ट में हर बच्चे को रिवॉर्ड और रिकॉग्नाइज करते हैं सो देट अदर अदर्स कैन आल्सो लर्न कि नहीं मुझे भी उधर जाना है मुझे भी उस वाले प्लेटफॉर्म पर जाना है रिकोगनाइज होने के लिए उसमें हम इंडस्ट्री मेम्बर को बुलाते हैं प्लस हर एक पंद्रह दिन में एक इंडस्ट्री के रिप्रेजेंटेटिव को इन्वाइट करते हैं कि वो आते हैं गेस्ट लेक्चर देते हैं बच्चों को मोटिवेट करते हैं प्लस अपने एक्सपीरियंस को भी शेयर करते हैं फिर हर एक तीन महीने में पेरेंट टीचर्स मीट करते हैं क्विज कंपटीशन कर रहे हैं 
तो ये सारी जो बेस्ट प्रैक्टिस और एक्टिविटीज अपार्ट फ्रॉम द रेगुलर एनसीबीटी ट्रेनिंग ये जो करते हैं हम जो जैसे बच्चे ही ऑन जॉब ट्रेनिंग के जैसे बात हो रही थी तो हमारे हमारे अक्रॉस आई टी आई में सभी बच्चों को हंड्रेड परसेंट कैंडिडेट गेट्स की ऑन जॉब ट्रेनिंग और लास्ट ईयर हमने जो फर्स्ट ईयर के बच्चे थे फर्स्ट ईयर को सभी को ऑन जॉब ट्रेनिंग कराई जब सेकेंड ईयर में गए तो सेकेंड ईयर में हमने उनको स्टाइपेंड के साथ ऑन जॉब ट्रेनिंग कराई यू विल नॉट बिलीव कि कैंडिडेट्स ने जितनी भी फी पे की है हमारे आईटीआई में ट्रेनिंग करने के लिए उससे ज्यादा उनको स्टाइपेंड मिल गया ड्यूरिंग दी ऑन जॉब ट्रेनिंग वेन देवर इन टू देअर सेकेंड ईयर और फीमेल कैंडिडेट्स के लिए हमने फिफ्टी परसेंट फी वेव फी वेव ऑफ कर रखी है कि इफ एनी फीमेल कैंडिडेट्स कम टू दी इंजीनियरिंग कोर्सेज देन शी विल हैव टू पे ओनली द फिफ्टी परसेंट ऑफ दी फी वॉट दी बॉयज कैंडिडेट्स आर पेइंग सो इससे भी हमारे फीमेल कैंडिडेट्स का पार्टिसिपेशन बढ़ता है तो ऑल दीज थिंग्स ऑल दीज बेस्ट प्रैक्टिस देन इंडस्ट्री की बात करते हैं तो इंडस्ट्री को जैसे हम गेस्ट लेक्चर के लिए इनवाइट कर रहे हैं जैसा डॉन बॉस्को वाले भाई साहब ने बताया कि स्किल एग्जीबिशन हम लोग करते हैं लाइक प्रोजेक्ट डेवलप करते हैं प्रोजेक्ट की बात करते हैं तो लास्ट ईयर हमने अपने आईटीआई के बच्चों से इलेक्ट्रिक साइकिल डेवलप कराया था उसका इनोग्रेशन कराया फिर इस साल हम आईटीआई के बच्चों से मोटर मैकेनिक व्हीकल के जो हमारे कैंडिडेट्स हैं उनसे हम एक इलेक्ट्रिक व्हीकल पे काम कर रहे हैं और इलेक्ट्रिक व्हीकल इज ऑलरेडी बींग सक्सेसफुली रन ट्रायल रन हो चुका है ना वी आर मेकिंग इट सम चेंजेस कि उसमें और उसको हम देखने में कैसे लुक वाइज उसको कैसे बेहतर बना सके तो इस तरीके के प्रोजेक्ट पे काम कर रहे हैं स्मार्ट रूम का कॉन्सेप्ट जैसे हमने इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स मैकेनिक के ट्रेड में स्मार्ट रूम के कॉन्सेप्ट बनाए कि यू कैन ऑपरेट द लाइट्स फैन एंड ऑल द इक्विपमेंट्स कनेक्टेड टू दी आईटीआई और एनी एनी हाउस और एनी इंडस्ट्री फ्रॉम एनी वेयर इन द वर्ल्ड विद हेल्प ऑफ योर मोबाइल ओनली सो इस तरीके के इस तरीके के प्रोजेक्ट इस तरीके के स्मार्ट रूम के प्रोजेक्ट इस तरीके के व्हीकल के प्रोजेक्ट पे हम काम करते हैं प्लस लाइव प्रोजेक्ट्स करते हैं लाइक like आईटीआई में किसी भी तरीके का इलेक्ट्रिकल मेंटेनेंस हो मैकेनिकल मेंटेनेंस हो ऑटोमोबाइल रिलेटेड मेंटेनेंस हो कुछ भी हो आईटीआई में इट इज बीइंग डन इन हाउस बाय द ट्रेनिंग विद विद द सुपरविजन ऑफ देयर इंस्ट्रक्टर सो ऑल दीज काइंड ऑफ एक्टिविटीज द बूस्ट अप द कॉन्फिडेंस लेवल ऑफ द कैंडिडेट्स कि नहीं ये मैं काम कर सकता हूँ लाइक लास्ट ईयर इन समर इन न्यू आई टी करेंटली आई एम इन राजस्थान गोटन Uh, district nagaur we require uh, so it is very hot here so we require few coolers for the their workshops so you would not believe we uh, we made the cooler in house in itis we procure all the raw material from outside and we made the uh, air cooler totally in house by the trainees for their workshop yeah so, so uh, these, these yeah. kind of activities and these kind of practices we do across all our ITAs not in one ITAs we do it in our IT like the candidates those who are into the mason or building constructor trade if anything related with the mason or building construction repairing or maintenance is required it is being done by the only only the students they will get the live training they will get the exposure all as well they will get the confidence so no i can do this yeah so after passing out of the iti courses when they go out in the field and uh, few of the candidates uh, if they think that no i will not go to job i will have my own work i will i will mm -hmm. go into the self employment part then they can also go yeah in our iti is what we are doing uh, in the motor mechanic trade we have we are running the uh, on while learn uh, center mm -hmm. so all the nearby is our plant our school all the vehicles are being, being wasps are being basically they are serviced and maintained by the itis in our campus okay. like in fitter also we are we are we are starting a uh, earned by learn fitter center where mm -hmm. all the kind of repairing welding maintaining all the kind of things will be done in that uh, service area by the students yeah so these uh, are the these are the mostly the basic basic the best practices that we are having across our itis which attracts students as well as the industry and uh, we we keep on trying to make it aspirational for the candidates yeah 
so that's i think that's really a, a you know complete story about how you have tried to make many things aspirational yes. a few very important points was uh, you know the hands on part of it uh, which is so important in any technical training and also the uh, kind of social stigma that is attached to working with hands and all i'm sure you know these students will get over it very soon and they become masters in whatever skills they are acquiring and that is one of the most uh, important requirements today uh, especially when we look at the national education policy 2020 uh, and yes. the pathways we are talking about so uh, i'll one one give... more thing i would like yeah. to add yeah uh, when when you talk about the nep nep yeah. to, uh, 2020 so in line of NAP 2020, we are already having uh, last year uh, in 23, we had an MOU with one of our school, although it is our own school, uh, with our school to provide the vocational skills program to the class 9 and class 11 students of oh. the school. Mm -hmm. So we designed a, a curriculum, customized curriculum for those students only. Last year in 23, we trained 75 students of class 9 and 11 for okay. one month at our ITI. We provided them the certificate also. And this year also we trained around 76 or 77 students. So approximately 150 students we have already trained mm -hmm. in, uh, in this program. So this is also uh, one of the things that we are doing at ITI. And the whole credit goes to the support from the management our management okay. also supports us a lot. Uh, I mean, uh, in terms of uh, support, I mean, the main support is the finance. So, yeah. so this 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 okay. is the support that we uh, get it from the management. And management also believe that, no, we are doing some good thing and we are having some achievement. We are uh, changing the lives of a few people. We are supporting the livelihood of the local community. So they also keep on uh, supporting to us. That's really nice to hear. And I think uh, that's, you're also very fortunate to have a very supporting environment, right? In many aspects. Uh, yes. But uh, in a relatively new ITI, uh, Mr. Joseph, like uh, where you are the principal, uh, is there anything that you wish to tell us about the Industry Connect or, uh, you know, attracting students i mean are they like locally from assam or from the northeast region maybe you can share a few observations on these aspects yeah um, basically we have uh, um, four trades for ncbt trades uh, yeah. fitter and electrician for two years under for one year trades um, being a new iti uh, for the past two years uh, it has not been challenging for us to get uh, candidates uh, in Suprabad ITI. Um, even uh, recently, also with the uh, state portal, we cannot take, we cannot absorb candidates from any other states other than the state of Assam. So, mm -hmm. um, so uh, but then we have uh, filled all our seats. Um, we do have uh, students coming for inquiries towards the admissions in Suprabad ITI. Um, what we have uh, um, experience in the past two years uh, is that industry is also coming we recently connect uh, uh, organized a job fair suprabhat job fair and also a fest which never uh, was it organized for any itis across the country we uh, recently organized a fest for only for iti students uh, mm. in the state of assam and we did have 12 schools taking part in two days event, uh, which was uh, named as uh, one of the state names as a Luith, Luith Fest, which we organized, which uh, Luith is the name of a river. And um, we organized in this name. And uh, one day was dedicated only on games, inter, um, indoor as well as outdoor games. And second day was dedicated to um, bring out the richness of the state of Assam by the um, uh, uh, cultural programs uh, made a, a really a good impact among young boys and girls. Uh, I have noticed in the past, um, these kind of celebrations um, were taking place in academic schools or in universities um, for students. But uh, for IPI students, 
um, uh, I've not experienced uh, anyone organizing a platform where um, the young minds coming together. Uh, we have noticed in my past also, in, based on my experience, um, young boys and girls have a lot of things to communicate to the world outside. They have a lot of energy. They have a lot of enthusiasm. And that's the reason why we organize this platform um, of uh, Louis and the festival. Um, now, what we notice is that we uh, have visibility for our institute um, through various kinds of programs. Uh, mm -hmm. I already believe that the students are constructed through ITI towards industrial world. Mm -hmm. We are a kind of developing young boys and girls which they may not have received in their academic uh, sectors earlier, or maybe in their own life situation, they may not have had an experience. So um, as a result, what we uh, impart for us to ITI is, first thing is that their discipline, hmm. their regularity, their punctuality. This we um, emphasized in the past two years, and we made a difference. We were really happy to see we had almost 14 companies coming over from uh, Tensukia district in the state of Assam. And uh, we were really uh, thrilled to hear from the industries the, uh, that uh, they were really happy to uh, in, uh, interview our candidates. They made, their, there was a lot of difference in our students. And we feel that this was because of the the banging that we have been giving to these students to prepare themselves to the industry. Because yeah. industry expects people who are ready. Mm. It's, it's not that there is no time for young boys and girls to wait after joining the industry. So therefore, um, we as a team, we went back and we uh, uh, used to uh, conduct training programs to update our uh, teachers, our instructors, our subject teachers, that they are prepared. Uh, the, the kind of, uh, every week we have weekly test assessments, uh, the daily checking of their record books, theory books, or uh, theory files, the practical files, the, the accompaniment is something which we always emphasized uh, to our teachers, to all our subject teachers, and to all our trade instructors. Accompaniment of young boys and girls. If there is a proper accompaniment, there is no chance for, there is no room for them to make any kind of mistakes. Um, this is something which we have learned in our journey in the past two, two and a half years. And uh, we have noticed that there is a huge difference uh, when a student joined the Institute and when they come out of Suprabhad ITI, we have noticed that there is a huge, huge difference in them um, uh, the um, ITI uh, DGT has given to every ITI across the country an evidence-based assessment, uh, a formative assessment, which is nothing but an accompaniment in every aspect. So, which we have been doing in the past two, two and a half years. Uh, so, Mr. Joseph, uh, thank you so much for sharing the information about how you're making technical education and training very holistic because you rightly pointed out about many non-technical activities that you do, which I think uh, finally add to the uh, feeling of accomplishment of the students. And also you involve parents. That's really nice to hear. There's another very important point, uh, which is connected with this, and that has to do with the future for these students. If you look back and see, uh, there is a kind of an image about ITIs that uh, you know, still it carries even for the parents, like what after ITI? And in addition to the technical uh, training and the scope and the job and the salaries, what is the future? So as we know, there are now opportunities with the national education policy and NIOS courses. And there could be many other things, the credit system, which is coming into, you know, which is getting implemented slowly. So um, I would like to ask uh, Mr. Amar Prabhu, sir, uh, in your ITI, uh, you know, how has it been for career paths? Like, 
do you see many students uh, just joining the job or they do discontinue and go and do some other course or they become entrepreneurs can you quickly tell us a bit about this as well good question actually uh, yes uh, career progression is one of the key element of the ita training that is what i would suggest uh, when we look at our institution here uh, let me put two practices what we follow the number yes. one is that we ask the student their pre placement we ask him to do a survey okay mm -hmm. what is that you want to do after the iti either you want to go for the apprenticeship either you want to go for the wage employment you are planning for the higher education or you are planning to become an entrepreneur or you have still undecided and we can see there is some kind of confusion at times with the trainees when they are undecided and the second thing during the career progression we also invite two things one is the industry hrs okay wherein they talk about the career progression within their organization so level 1 level 2 level 3 whatever the levels they have within their organization some of the organized industry they have the level fixed like 1 2 4 5 or 10 unorganized it is little difficult but however that information which is shared to the trainee gives a better perspective for them to make their choices and the third is we invite our alumni our past peoples okay so they come and talk to them whatever the position they have reached then organization so that also becomes an inspiration for them and kind of ideal for them mm -hmm. second practice what we have with us is we have a full fledged edc set entrepreneurship development set so which focuses targeted some percentage of the entrepreneurship we should produce at the end of the year so there is an entrepreneurship training there is a workshop for them a boot camp for them which helps them to think more of getting into the entrepreneurship so this is then also we invite our neighboring polytechnics and other they with they come and talk about a direct second year admission for the polytechnic one of the good part with the maharashtra is that we have maharashtra state skill university skill mm. university mssu very uh, like trade for mechatronic they are giving direct admission for the btech so uh, many of the trainees also do aspirationally they take up for the btech program similarly for the program of diploma in maharashtra we have like they the uh, maharashtra state says pursue the iti in any trade and you can pursue the diploma also in any stream so that is also an opportunity for the kid one of the other thing i would like to uh, inform is that around 33 trainees of mine are learning the german language so very soon they will be appearing for the b1 program okay and we are lining up the interviews with the german companies most likely indian german companies or the german companies based in germany they would like to start their career with that so um, the key element for the idea is that to continuously talk to the trainees about the progress of the future path availability and one more element i'm tempted to talk to you about is the multi skill okay? okay i think that's the need of an art even though they have been trained they have been trained in one particular trade or domain but i think it's really it is for us for the iti to give them more than that for example with the help of godre csr project we have the um, we have the robotics lab with us okay in this robotics lab we have ai we have uh, we have the cad cam softwares okay we have drone we have robots there so what we have done we have mapped all the ita trades as per the trade and we are ensuring that at least one or two program they do with them so it could be digital electronic it can be autocad it can be cad okay it can be some other program like drone because one of the thing if you look at the today's youth okay they they have opportunity to multi skill themselves okay they are general. they are open for for imbibing new skills okay new knowledge so i think some they may not make the right choice in the idea but when we provide them a proper platform or maybe expose them to newer skill newer technology probably they may can make the career for example we uh, we did a workshop with a mechatronics for 3d printing which is not part of the curriculum and now we are say, saying they have made their projects with 3d printing and they are aspiring to make their career in the 3d printing like with like fitters we introduce them autocad many of them are aspiring to become a designer so i think it's very important for us as an institute okay to take up that bold step in skilling them making giving them opportunity to skill beyond the wage employment and also talking to them what is their career progression because during the orientation during time to time we talk to them about the 
progress we talk to them about higher educational power like kind of opportunity as you rightly mentioned nep is also giving them the opportunity like we have bwalk program we have bc right. program so we are introducing them and they get informed and they make their choices so i think uh, the the opportunity is good for them okay they can make use of these opportunities yeah. I think uh, that's really important, like you said, and providing so many opportunities, which doesn't limit it to, uh, you know, being a, a certificate holder or a diploma holder. But and also, as you very rightly said, it's not like a linear progression of a career ladder. They can always do something like a gig, you know, like a small assignment. They can try robotics, like you said, multi-skilling. I think these are also becoming absolutely important with emerging technologies. Now, let me ask uh, Mr. Ashutosh. Tiwari about uh, the ITI's you work with, uh, sir. Uh, how is it for the career progression and also, as I said, you know, helping them go for higher education as well. So what are the initiatives or the steps you have taken? Maybe you can give us a couple of examples. See, <clears throat> first time when ITI uh, students come to ITI, when we start the training program, so the initial one week इनिशियल वन वीक हम केवल और केवल ओरिएंटेशन ही करते हैं hmm. उस दौरान हम कोई भी उनसे कोर्स के रिलेटेड सब्जेक्ट रिलेटेड कुछ भी नहीं उनको बताते हैं hmm. उस दौरान हम उनको केवल ब्रीफ करते हैं ओरिएंटेशन में अबाउट द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन अबाउट द ग्रुप अबाउट द आईटीआई अबाउट द डिफरेंट टर्मिनोलॉजी बीइंग यूज्ड इन आईटीआई लाइक एनसीईआरटी डीजीटी everything nsqf cits cts all this then the career what after iti yeah. i mean what are the opportunity that any iti graduate can have after they are after they are having their certificate hmm. so ye jo hamara orientation hota hai isme hum unko totally brief karte hain ki kya kya opportunity iti ke baad hai iti ke baad government job ki opportunity hai to kahan hai प्राइवेट जॉब की है तो कहां पॉसिबिलिटी है सेल्फ एम्प्लॉयमेंट के लिए क्या-क्या करने पड़ सकते हैं या करते हैं हायर एजुकेशन में जाते हैं तो कहां जा सकते हैं और किस तरीके से जा सकते हैं डिप्लोमा में जा सकते हैं वीवर्क में जा सकते हैं फिर लेटर ऑन वो डिग्री या बीटेक में भी जा सकते हैं इस तरीके से उनको ओरिएंटेशन के दौरान ही ब्रीफ करते हैं नंबर 1 नंबर 2 एक चीज ये भी है कि आपको पता भी होगा कि जो बच्चे क्लास 10 के बाद 2 ईयर प्रोग्राम करते हैं आईटीआई के सो इफ दे क्वालीफाई द लैंग्वेज पेपर ओनली इंग्लिश का पेपर तो दे विल हैव द 10 प्लस 2 सर्टिफिकेट आल्सो ऑफ साइंस या तो इस चीज को हम पूरे तरीके से हाईलाइट करते हैं और जो क्लास 10 पास आउट बच्चे हैं उनको हम इसको ले आते हैं तो हर एक साल हमारे पास uh, 15 16 20 इस तरह के कैंडिडेट होते हैं जो क्लास 10 के साथ-साथ सॉरी क्लास आईटीआई के साथ-साथ 10 प्लस 2 भी करते हैं mm -hmm. जब वो सेकेंड ईयर में होते हैं तो लैंग्वेज के पेपर देते हैं दे विल गेट द 10 प्लस 2 सर्टिफिकेट अब आईटीआई के बाद सपोज करिए कि उनको फिर से वापस एकेडमी में जाना है कुछ और पढ़ना है तो वो कर सकते हैं उनके उसके लिए उनको 10 प्लस 2 नहीं करना पड़ेगा और आईटीआई के थ्रू टेक्निकल पार्ट में उनको डिप्लोमा या हायर एजुकेशन में जाना है या बीटेक में फर्दर जाना है तो वो ऑप्ट कर सकते हैं तो ये उनके लिए एक प्लस बेनिफिट होता है प्लस मान लीजिए आईटीआई की स्किलिंग है उनके पास 10 प्लस 2 के बेस पे कहीं किसी एग्जाम में या किसी चीज में उनको अपीयर होना है तो देन दे आल्सो कैन अपीयर तो ये एक प्रैक्टिस हम लोग करते हैं दूसरा एलुमनी मीट करते हैं एलुमनी मीट में जो हमारे सक्सेसफुल एलुमनी है या जो पास स्टूडेंट्स हैं उनको इनवाइट करके उनके साथ ओरिएंटेशन उनके साथ इंटरेक्शन करते हैं ये भी एक प्रैक्टिसेस करते हैं और ट्रेनिंग के दौरान जैसे मल्टी स्किल की बात हो रही थी तो ट्रेनिंग के दौरान जो भी हमारे ट्रेड्स हैं लाइक फिटर है तो फिटर में हर ट्रेड में हमने एक एडिशनल स्किल सेट आइडेंटिफाई करके रखा है लाइक मैकेनिक मोटर व्हीकल में हमने ईवी ईवी का पार्ट एक स्किल अलग करके रखा है कि एवरी एमएमबी स्टूडेंट्स विल हैव द ईवी ट्रेनिंग एंड सर्टिफिकेशन आल्सो for that, for that we are having the MOU with MG Motor. उसी के according like fitter की बात करें तो fitter में हमने करके रखा है कि उनको auto character जो है सीखना है। Like जो electrical और electronics में हैं तो उनको हमने identify करके रखा है कि उनको basic solar operation, maintenance और installation सीखना है। All these additional skills will increase their employability. 
सो so, इस तरीके के इस तरीके की चीजें करते हैं प्लस वर्ल्ड स्किल एक ऐसी चीज है जो कि आईटीआई में जो बच्चे ट्रेनिंग ले रहे हैं उन आईटीआई को एस्पिरेशनल बनाने का एक बहुत बड़ा जरिया है और बहुत बड़ा प्लेटफॉर्म है जैसे लास्ट ईयर लास्ट ईयर इंडिया स्किल्स में जब हमारे बच्चे गए तो जो दूसरे बच्चे थे उससे बहुत मोटिवेट हुए और उनको जब पता चला कि वो बच्चे इंडिया स्किल में गए उनको किस तरीके की फैसिलिटी मिली किस तरीके का ट्रीटमेंट मिला किस तरीके का किस तरीके का एक्सपोजर उनको मिला किस तरीके की लर्निंग हुई फिर बाद में जो बच्चे फ्रांस गए फिर वहां से आने के बाद उन्होंने अपने एक्सपीरियंस को बाकी लोगों के साथ जब शेयर किया तो बाकी लोगों को भी फील होने लगा और वो भी एक्साइट होने लगे कि नहीं मुझे भी तैयारी करनी चाहिए मैं भी तैयारी करूंगा अगली बार मैं भी इलिजिबल हूँ तो मैं भी पार्टिसिपेट करूंगा तो इस तरीके की जो एक्टिविटीज है जो सक्सेसफुल लोग हैं या जो भी आईटीआई के डोमेन में जो अच्छा कर रहे हैं या कर चुके हैं उनको इनके बीच ले आकर के खड़ा करना और उनसे इनको मोटिवेट कराना इंस्पायर कराना ये काफी हेल्पफुल होगा उनके करियर के लिए ताकि उनको एक गाइडेंस भी मिलेगा कि आगे वो क्या कर सकते हैं और किस तरीके से आगे बढ़ सकते हैं ये कुछ बेस्ट प्रैक्टिस है जो हम करते हैं और इसको और इम्प्रूव करते रहेंगे तो उनके लिए आईटीआई में और ज्यादा ऑप्शंस uh, मिलेंगे उनको आगे बढ़ने का या आई थिंक दिस विल डेफिनेटली हेल्प आगे चल के ये सब बेस्ट प्रैक्टिसेस बहुत इम्पॉर्टेंट हो जाएंगे क्योंकि आईटीआई के बाद करियर पाथ दिखाना बहुत इम्पोर्टेंट है नाउ मिस्टर जोसेफ वुड यू वॉन्ट टू एड समिंग टू वॉट इज बीन सेट सो फार इन टर्म्स ऑफ करियर पाथ yeah uh, uh, last two years what we have noticed um, at the time of admissions many of the students would come and ask uh, whether we get an employment or a placement is possible after the training uh, on a particular trade on fitter or electrician or welder or computer operator programming assistant this was invariably one of the questions asked by um many of the students who would uh, come in for admissions um during the tenure of the training program we would give them the answer uh, the placement or um placement is completely 100% depends on one performance so this is what the answer a child a candidate would a boy or girl a male or female candidate would get during the training program uh, in to prabhat idr and as mr amar has rightly said multitasking is one of the things which we do in to prabhat idr fixer or electrician or welder we mandatorily make it what the cat compulsory for everybody what the cat is one of the subject which we teach once a week to all the candidates to our is given to them on the computers which are there the 2024 uh, autocad uh, uh, version is loaded and this is taught to all these candidates whereas uh, even cnc is also to them uh, computer numerically controlled uh, uh, the software the programming as well as the operation is also taught to welder electrician and fitter students Uh, on completion of the study whereas uh, computer operator programming students they would get data analytics and uh, data visualization which is an add on which is not within the curriculum of these candidates so therefore i would also go by what both the speakers have rightly said multitasking something beyond the curriculum is some is what every iti should improvise uh, in every iti so therefore a child can stand on their feet even uh, a child who is um, not clear about their visual or maybe their visualization yeah so uh, i will just continue with what i have been saying um, a child on completion of their studies uh, should visualize their future Uh, with the trainings that, that they have received so in fact in chatrapad iti we do this the tasking and we also train students something beyond the curriculum so the mindset of a child is completely uh uh, uh is geared towards the industry Okay, thank you for sharing uh, your views and also re-emphasizing re on the importance of uh, career guidance and support 
during the iti so i think with this uh, i would like to summarize the discussion we have had so far today uh, which was i think very enlightening and also we from nsn as you have already said our goal is to make technical education and training aspirational work integrated learning aspirational and since iti's i would say they are the pride of india when it comes to technical education and we really believe it and we are putting in lot of efforts in this direction so i think the stories that you have shared and all the information and all the insights that you have shared is definitely going to build this story further so i wish to thank you for uh, sharing your views and the story and all the details about the best practices i am sure this is going to help many of the itis in india and also the students and trainers and uh, in trainers or instructors is another important area which we could not touch upon today but we will come back to it because we plan to organize these uh, panel discussions more frequently and more often so thank you uh, uh, for uh, you know all your participation thanks a lot thank you thank you so very much